Hello, this is Chris at RavensGrockStudio.org, and today I'm going to be making a functioning rigged eye set, and we'll be utilizing the masking, actions, um, point binding, and we'll also be using a bone layer, and uh, you'll see something about bone parenting as well. And to start, I am going to select a tracing image, which is not necessary. You can do this tutorial without a tracing image. I'm just going to size it up a little. And you can see I have a, an eyeball here from one of my old sketchbooks. And where uh, we opened up and started with layer one, double click that layer one and just rename that uh, eye shape. Hit OK, and with the uh, Add a Point tool, you'll see Auto Weld and Auto Fill are selected. Also, for the uh, eye, you will need to select a color for the whites of the eye, and I'm using the Skin PNG in swatches. If you don't see that swatches, uh, you got to check this Advanced tab here, and it'll open it up. And then you can select your swatches, skin. And I use a lighter skin tone, a much lighter shade of skin tone on the same palette that the character's skin color is going to be. I don't actually use white for the white of an eye. And because if you look at an eye, uh, eyeball whites are not really white. Anyhow, okay, so we've got our stroke, and we're going to set our stroke to... Four. No, it's already set for four, so but that's not important right now because we're going to change it. And we have our fill color, and we're going to trace this eye shape using only four points. And that becomes important when we animate the eye. We'll go to our uh, curvature tool. And the outer points... This eye we're going to set to sharp, and get that shape in there like that. If you don't have a, a tracing image or whatever, you just make it oval, and you can set your outer points here to sharp as well. Let's see how that works. And you can adjust your uh, top and bottom until you get a rough eye shape in there. We'll delete that though and continue on with our eye. Um, we're going to get the line width set. So on the outer point, we're going to set that to 5. We've got our... Uh, line width tool over here highlighted and you'll see up here it says width and we're going to set the top lid to three the bottom lid to two and the inner point two as well <coughs> Now we are going to go back with our add a point tool and create an upper lid here. We're going to select this second point and make that one sharp. We're going to use our, our create a shape tool. And you see that all turn red when you hit create a shape, hit the space bar and it'll turn that line, it'll use the stroke color over here, it's set for four, but what I want to do is drop that stroke down to two. <clears throat> and if I hit Command R and render that out, you'll see what we have so far. Now for the bottom lid, it's the same thing. forgot to mention on the top lid you you want you want to only use three or four points to make this whole 
fluid thing here, and that becomes uh, necessary when we add motion. This bottom shape here is really uh, going to stay still for the most part, so it's not really as important. You can use a few more points to get some contour on it. Again, the same thing in the fill palette. Select your create a shape tool, create the shape, hit the space bar. And the width was already set to two because we changed it on the top one. And now for the brow, we're gonna go back to our add a point tool and just come around. I'm exaggerating here because the shape I want. Something like that. And we're going to fill that with a something along the line of the hair, hair color you're going to use, but for right now we'll just we'll make it a reddish brown, I guess. I don't know. Looks good. I get that eye sh eyebrow shape in there. You see, and we want that point to be a sharp point, and we want this bottom corner point to be a sharp point as well. And then we can translate each of these points to give us something, something like this. And, and that's it for your basic uh, eye shape. Just make sure that looks pretty decent, good enough for now. We're going to make a second layer. And so over here in your layers palette, on new layer, click new vector layer. It'll come up as layer two. Double click that and call that eyeball. Hit OK. We're going to use our um, draw shape tool, select to oval, and double click over here in the fill. And we'll bring this to a nice shade of green. How about green? Hit OK. And the stroke should be set to two, which it is. We're going to click, make sure auto stroke up here is clicked as well. And hold the shift key to make a circle rather than an oval. And you should get something like that. Go back to the uh, draw shape tool. Oval should still be selected. Double click on your green here and just drop this down to a nice dark, like black. You can go dark green or right into the black. And we're going to make the middle of this eye pupil thing here. And hit OK. Stroke width is set to 2. And so we're going to get something like this. Now, we'll center it. Now, with the uh, draw shape tool here, go back to the draw shape tool, double click on this fill thing again, and drag this all the way up to the white. You want a nice white. And we're going to draw two more circles. Um, deselect for these two circles, deselect auto stroke. We do not want a stroke in this circle. So hit shift again and draw a small circle right that straddles the uh, black and the green. And then from here hit command C to copy and command V to paste. And if you did that right,
there. You should just be able to drag that pasted circle, the second pasted circle, out of the first one. Let's center these up a little better. Works right there. And then uh, with the second lower circle here selected, go to your uh, scale points and drop that down to about half the size of the other. And you can see that's what you have so far. And I'm going to adjust the position of these. If you have trouble grabbing something, you zoom up on it, and it, a lot of times that will help. And then go to this circle. a wee bit smaller. Okay, at this point we're going to turn the tracing image off. <clears throat> and that's what we have. So go back to the eye shape layer and you'll see it pulls it up. Hit Command A to select all the points. Now hit Command C to copy all those points and Command V to paste them. And then up top here, hit Flip. And what you've done is flipped the well, we'll pull them out one at a time. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Hit Command C, hit Command V, pull the entire shape group over, flip it, go to the eyeball layer, hit Command A to select all, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and drag that second eye right into the other one. Render that out, you'll see we have two eyes, pretty much identical. Now go to your layers palette down here, layers tree, and select image, uh, new layer. We're going to put a bone layer into this, and then we're going to drag the eye shape first into it, and then the eyeball shape, drag it up into the bone layer. Double click the bone layer. Under Masking, select Hide All. Under the Eye Shape layer, double-click that. Under Masking, select Clear Mask, then add this layer to it, then select Exclude Strokes, which pops up when you click the Clear Mask and add layer to it. So if you want to make sure that masked correctly, go to the Eyeball layer now, hit Command A, and select All, Get your translate points thing going up here and just pull those eyes and if they kind of disappear out like that then you've done it right command r Ta -da. that's what we have so far